this is the electrical box that we're going to be putting our burner shut off switch in this is our plate and this is our switch right here so i ran the bx in with the red head put the bx connector on there tighten it down did the same thing for the other side these wires here these are the wires coming in from the junction box coming in the top and coming out of the bottom are the wires that will be going on to our transformer so to begin what i'm going to do here is we have the switch in the off position right now that's on this is off and you want to make sure you orientate it right. You want to make sure the switch is down when it's off. I've seen a lot of guys, they kind of unwittingly flip it upside down. And it's not a big deal. It's still going to work. But what happens is like down the road, somebody might come along and say, I'm going to work on this circuit. And they'll shut it, thinking they're shutting it off when they're really turning it on. So you, you want to make sure you orientate it right so things like that don't happen down the road. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make all my ground connection first because there's actually going to be four ground wires in here. There's one coming from our junction box. There's one that's going to be going on to our transformer. There's another that grounds the actual box itself. And then you're going to have a ground on the actual switch. So I'm going to take a wire. This is a green wire I pulled out of the BX, a little extra wire, and I strip both ends of it. I'm going to take my wire strippers and I'm going to make a little bend in it like so. Now, when you're making connections like this with a little loop that's going to set underneath that screw, you always want to make sure that your loop goes with the way the direction you tighten the screw. If you do it backwards, what's going to happen is as you tighten that screw down, it's actually going to start pushing the wire out and you're not going to have a solid connection there. So always go in the same direction as the screw tightens. So I got my ground in there and I'm going to tighten up on it and I'm going to make all my ground connections. All right, so now I got all my grounds connected. I'm going to tuck that in make sure my switch stays in the proper orientation with the off down. All right. So now we have our line voltage coming in and we have our load going out on the black wires. So generally with a single pole switch like this, it really wouldn't matter which black wire goes to which terminal on the side here, but there are circumstances in electrical where it does matter. So it's always good practice to take your line voltage, put it to the terminal that's connected to your off position and your load wire will go to the terminal in your on position so that when you turn the switch on, the power is going to this terminal and it's turning your appliance on, which in this case is our boiler. So again, I will take my wire strippers. I will bend the wire over into a little loop. I will take my line voltage, connect it beneath the wire here in the same direction I tighten the screw. So now our line voltage is connected to the terminal in our off position. Now we're going to take our load wire and connect that to the terminal of our on position. All right, so there we have it. We have our line and our load wired into our switch. And now we can set our switch in its position. And now all you have to do is connect the two neutrals directly to each other. And there you have it. Now your switch is wired in and we can take our case. And in this case, uh, we're not going to have the fitting actually screwing onto these boxes because they don't have the screws. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw it down to the plate. And we're going to put our little screws in to connect the switch to the plate. And then we're going to connect the plate to the box.